So I was looking around some old stuff the other day and I happened to find a bunch of really old CDs with a whole bunch of old DOS games on them. These are basically the games I used to play as a kid, so I thought, why not record some of these games? Or all of them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play all of my old DOS games. I'm not gonna play them from start to end, cause that would be crazy. Also, I get the feeling that a lot of these games will be bad, so I'm gonna do a bunch of short segments instead. There's about 160 of them, so I should probably get started. So the first game we have is called Secret Agent, and um, the reason why I'm starting with this game is because the folder is called Agent and I'm going by alphabetical order, so... Oh, let's take a look at the story. Agent 006, ha, ah, yeah, that's clever. Our government scientists have been working on a secret project, a ruby-powered laser sap... Okay, whatever, I'm not gonna read this, fuck this crap. If you want to get acquainted with the rich lore of Secret Agent, then you're gonna have to do it on your own time, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, this is coming back pretty fast. So the basic goal of this game is to infiltrate those little forts you see there. And once you beat all the forts, then you unlock the castle. Controls, they're not that great. They're kind of... Um... Like, they have a, some sort of weird latency about them that kind of makes this shitty to control, as you can see. I can't fucking make the first jump in this level. And the game has a bunch of, like, different collectibles you can get, like that S over there, and the briefcase, and the floppy disk. You can put that into, like, a computer later on, and it, like, turns off later in the level. And the way you beat enemies is basically you have to shoot them and they go through their different forms until they turn into a gravestone. Like a bunch of other games in this area, it was all about collecting keys and opening the doors. The one great thing about this game is if you use the wrong key on the wrong door, then you basically can fuck yourself over and not be able to complete the level after start again. The pickups are kind of weird sometimes, so like, you can pick up like circuit boards and watches and all kinds of stuff and bags of money, but then you have like toothpaste and a toothbrush. Let's take a look at another level and then move on. I remember it being better, but yeah. Look at the shape of Secret Agent's body, that's so weird. Secret Agent probably never not skip leg day. It doesn't actually work out, it just injects synthol into his stomach. Yo bro, this is gonna be ass, right? Yeah. I think he's actually slowly poisoning himself. Look at his skin, it's just losing color and his head's getting bigger. Get the money! Oh fuck, you missed the money, you motherfucker. Oh god, it turned my body into a horrid mess! Oh wait, it was like that before. The one thing you do have to do is destroy all the um, radar dishes. If you don't, it doesn't let you exit the level, even if you have like the dynamite needed to blow up the exit door. This is one of the levels, like if you waste all your ammo, you can't finish it. Put the bomb here, it's gonna go BAM, you walk in here, yeah, you win, and that's one fortress down. And you have to basically kill all the fortresses and then you can access the main fortress. But yeah, this game, in retrospect, kinda sucks. So let's move on and... Oh, wait a minute. As the heroic super spy 006 and a half? You motherfuckers. Now I don't know what's canon. God damn it. Okay, this game is probably more familiar to those who grew up with consoles. I think this was on the SNES or Sega Genesis or Super Game Box 9000 or something. I remember this game being pretty good. Oh yeah, controls are already way better. The enemies sound like they're burping when you hit them. Maybe you're deflating them or something. I mean, they disappear in a puff of smoke. They just turn into a fart or something. Jump on this. Kill a dude with camel spit. Also, I never got this part. There's these ladies that keep throwing pots out of their windows. Just endless streams of pots. Like, what the fuck? God damn, these ladies are just wasteful. This is basically why global warming is happening. All these greenhouse gases that these pots emit. Nobody thinks about the environment, you know? Yeah, there's not that much to this game. There's like ropes you can climb on and stuff and some new enemies later on, but... 
but otherwise, like, it's pretty, like, average side-scroller fare. Alright, and here's, oh yeah, here's a sales guy. Like, hey, I offer you this shit, you can buy extra hearts. It's a deal, of course it is. What are they paying with? They just buy like a hundred hearts? Okay, whatever. Yeah, he's the desert level. It's yellow, like deserts tend to be. Yeah, I'm just gonna run through this thing. Land speedrun, go! I'm dead, and let's quit forever. A board game, yes. So let's take a look at the next game. We Aldo. And whoa, what up, not Mario? Hey, I'll fix your pipes for ten bucks. Also, you wanna buy some meth? Damn. Man, Aldo is on some shit. Look at his eyes, like, oh, oh my god, the treasure. A lot of these games don't have music, so I think I'm just gonna add a, a proper soundtrack to this. Oh, hey, it's shitty Donkey Kong. Who would have guessed? I'm guessing I have to get the treasure or fucking cocaine or whatever Aldo wants. I like how the barrels just drop from the walls, like fuck it, you figure it out. Oh, get the potion, oh yeah, get that purple drink. Aldo love purple drink. Ah shit, the mescal's kicking in, I can't get up this ladder! Sipping scissor up and lean on an easy street, what it do? Yeah, get the fucking thing. Woo, I got the treasure. Next level takes place on Long Island. Whoa. Okay. Man, Long Island has a lot of barrels. But I don't know, maybe Long Island really is like this. Like, I haven't been to Long Island, so I'm not gonna diss the game for its portrayal. Let's get the gold over there. Also, by the way, I think, I think there's a time limit up there. It's easy. So it's like, well, kill myself, so. I wonder if I can use this to jump up here. Nope, that's cheating. Gotta use ladders. I gotta get the treasure, I need my next fix. This game's so great. I love it. It's not garbage at all. Whoops, I quit. By accident. So let's see what the next thing is. Loan. Oh shit, 3D! There's like eight polygons in that thing. Next gen is here. Yeah, this is Alone in the Dark, the first one. Also, this thing right here, this is actually old copy protection. They used to have like fucking uh, really thick manuals that came with the game. And then the way the game checked if your copy was uh, legit was basically asking you to like find the right item in the manual. Then later on people basically start photocopying that stuff and kinda fuck things up. So you have the choice of two characters, lady and the dude. I'm gonna play as the lady. I think this spot is supposed to have voice acting, but I'm not sure. It might be that this version is a pirated version, so. Up the blue. Oh god, there's a lot of text. And what am I looking at? What the fuck is that in the distance? Oh, it's a car, okay. One of those old timey cars. Being driven by two blobs. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> This is the frog again. Hey, what's up, bitch? I think one of the developers just drew a really, really detailed frog sprite. 
I was like, God damn, we have to use it somewhere. Fuck! I spent all this time on this goddamn frog. And I head into the mansion. Get off my lawn! Why are you walking so slow? Oh my god, lady, what the fuck is wrong with your face? She just looks like... <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with her face? Oh my god! It's the plot twist that she was the monster all along? She looks like she's wearing somebody else's face! Maybe that's why she's walking so slow, it's hard to see through that mask. Where the fuck is... Where the fuck is she going? And why is she so fucking slow? Uh... uh don't come any closer please, oh god, don't! Oh, that's gross! Uh, they just want you to breathe in all this atmosphere, all this tension in the air. All right, so we're controlling this now. And as you might have guessed, tank controls. Let's take the lamp. And do I have an inventory? Yes, I do. An oil lamp. Reload the oil lamp. Nope. Use the oil lamp. The lamp has no oil. Great! Fuck this oil lamp. Ugh! Piece of shit. Fight! Actually, back then I was pretty scared of this game, actually. I mean, there wasn't a lot of games like this. I mean, the weird camera angles combined with like the feeling that you just can't shoot your way out like most games back then. It's kind of, was kind of creepy, you know? And I guess maybe the 3D graphics were pretty, pretty crazy for the time. As if I remember correctly, there was a, I think the, a monster walks past the window or something soon. Yep, there it is. Actually... How is he walking past the windows? Like, literally, all we saw her do was walk upstairs. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean... Was it... Was it thing floating outside? Is it a ghost? Uh, yeah, this, this hasn't aged well. If you can't tell, um... die. I, I can't get out of this corner, I just can't do anything. I'm sorry. Probably not very exciting to watch. Nothing I can do in here. You feel weak. Yep. Hey, guess what? This game is fucking awesome. And this lady is dead. At least they have the decency to give you, like, a death scene. You don't, like, spend fucking 20 minutes waiting for the game to start for nothing. This is actually the good ending. The bad ending means you have to play more of the game. What the fuck is up with this music? It's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yay, I beat the game! Let's play something else. Welcome to Animal Math! Let's learn how to count. All right, this seems easy enough. Uh, okay, that's... And... What happens if I get it wrong? Two. Sorry, try it again. One. Sorry, try it again. Three. So you can basically try it and error this game, I'm guessing. You're not teaching kids anything. Fantastic! Even though you got it wrong a bunch of times. 
Six. Two. Seven. Six. Eight. Kill me. Good job. You the best. Accountant shit. What up? Fine, let's take a look at the addition. Two. Five. I think I'm a bit too smart for this game. I just, just a hunch, maybe. Maybe I'm a bit out of this game's age range. But whatever. Five. Two. Nine. A tiger looks super creepy, actually. It doesn't even look like a tiger, it looks like some sort of fucking a mask that a serial killer would wear. Maybe that's the premise of this game, like, you've been captured by a serial killer who wears, like, different animal masks and makes you do math before he kills you and eats you. So little software. For the creative user. I think I can use the mouse in this game. No, I can't. All right. Okay, we still can use the mouse. Oh wow, I can't think of anything more fun than this. Where's this dude coming up from? Oh, all right. I'm guessing I need to guide it to another hole. Uh, okay, this will work. Fast! And I already lost. Level one over! 37, score needed 110! Hey, guess what? No. Oh no, this is an unregistered copy! I could get in trouble for this! So there, yeah, software is gonna track me down and kill me! I'm guessing this is a breakout clone. Click here to start the brilliant action. I'll be the judge of that. It's two, one player. Oh, right. A key to start. This level is classified as simple. All right. Pew. Oh my god, this thing is fast. Grab ready, player one, let's go, motherfucker, get up there. Oh! Man, this is a hardcore game, man. What the fuck is the hard... Harder level, like... Oh! Oh my god, I'm already dead. This might look like I'm terrible at the game, but... Uh, well, that's true, actually, but... The mouse control isn't that good. It has this weird acceleration on it. I don't get it. Maybe it's my own mouse, like... I'm controlling it wrong or something. It's like, it speeds up really quick. So it's some sort of weird acceleration, I think. It's fucking breakout, whatever. So this here is Arkanoid, which is the exact same game as the last one, except shittier. And also it has CGA graphics. The most notable thing about this is probably the title screen music, which I couldn't record for some reason. But trust me, it was pretty, pretty terrible. Yeah, there's not much more to say about this except that it's bad. Our next game is Actua Soccer! If you're expecting something else, nope, it's actually soccer. Or football, as civilized people call it. Unfortunately, I can't show the menu in this game because it just comes out garbled and completely fucked up. Also, this game has no soundtrack, so I'm probably gonna add in some soccer music for atmosphere. So I just set up a game between uh, China and Brazil here. And I forgot to set up the controls, so I can't actually do anything. Let me just fix this real quick. 
And we're back in this action-packed match between Uruguay and Portugal. Two giants going off against each other. I should be able to control this thing actually this time, so let's see how this goes. Alright, this is this is going good so far. Just gotta get to the okay, that's not what I planned, but and I'm already losing. Great. Just get the fucking ball. No, don't slide! Get the ball! Go! No, don't slide! Okay, yeah. That's that's what I want to do. Let's fucking Let's get penalties for everybody. Get the ball! No! How do I con who am I con Oh god damn it. Right. Let's try to kick this as far as I can. Go! Is that as far as you can go? Fuck! God is it's gonna try to Oh my god! Oh it's No! What did you do? What the fuck man? How the hell did you I think I'm just bad at this game and that's that's not where I wanted to kick it, but alright. <sighs> Corner kick! Ah oh, fuck. This is kind of bad. Oh god, he's coming for the goal! Stop him! No! Stop him! Get the- Oh, thank god, the goalkeeper didn't freak out this time. Alright, hit it far! Finally! Right, that's not the right person to actually get the ball to, but he missed, so it's alright. I wonder if I can do this. <laughs> oh my god! What the hell are you doing, dude? Are you working for the other team or something? And what's up? <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, let's go! I mean, what What are you doing? What? What are those guys doing even? They're just, they're just standing inside each other. What? What is this game? God. So yeah, this is actual soccer. It's actually really shitty. Technic Energy presents a simulation. A simulation or a simulation? Whatever. Okay, this is probably some head to head thing. Let's see what this is about. Also, no sound for some reason again. Okay, let's see what I could do here. I'm guessing this is a puzzle game. And move. We'll Okay, I have no idea what's going on. And I think I've seen enough of this. So that's it for this time. Um, There's actually one more game I wanted to take a look at called Atlantis, but I couldn't get it to run properly. It crashed after like, a little bit, so I decided like, fuck it. It's probably shitty anyway, so yeah. See you next time.